What's good, internet, and welcome back to Attack Slug. We'll play just about anything this time. That anything is called Pyromind out on Steam. It is a puzzle game. It is $3. And as always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. So let's hop in here and see what kind of punishing turn-based, but also real-time puzzle business we can get into here on the show today. So, classic mode. I've gotten a bit into here. I am currently skilled. I am the square in the center right now. My goal is to eat up all of or most of these bombs. And the number on the bomb is how many points you get for picking it up. But of course, they count down. When they hit zero, they explode. So, ideally, you want to get them before they explode. Now, the part where it's real time is the explosion. When it creates a chain reaction, like, not here, but you'll see, when there is a chain reaction in the explosion, that is real time. Everything else is turn-based. Now, much like a Pac-Man, I can go up and come out the bottom. Very useful for not getting blown up. Now, you have different kinds of main characters here that have different attributes. This one starts with 99 points. So I have a head start here on my point ratio. Very important. But yes, the constant counting down, it's phase two, the constant counting down is what makes it hard to actually score because you need those numbers. You can earn some gems, you can use gems to buy new characters, and that whole top there looks real real you can see real time real rotten you you can already tell it's gonna be a bad time you don't want to get caught where the bombs is gonna explode so part of it is being cautious and part of it is also being hey i gotta get out of here real fast there is the possibility of just avoiding that explosion in real time, that is called a stunt. They are very hard to pull off, but I've done it once or twice. Uh, it's tricky. And now you see the green, those explode in lines, like Bomberan. So up and down and left and right, you'll see here in a moment as they kill me. So that's the problem with those things is, yeah, they mess you up good. So generally, when you get better at the game, you're gonna be playing it a bit faster than that. You're gonna, all right, let me just get what I can get here and not explode. But when you see the big orange outline, make sure you know where you are to hopefully avoid the big orange outline because it will murk you every time. That one I did not look out for. I thought, oh, I'll be safe there. So back at the homepage here, we can go into the shop, the mind shop. And you can see I have the dark mind, which gives you a head start here. Plus 20 for the bomb markers. That's the little box before the actual bomb appears. So get those and get extra points. And the green guys will score triple, right? There are more unlockables by reaching higher tiers, but also when you earn these gems, you can buy them for 200 here to get this one, the ice one, the clown, 500 for the Zanny and the priestess. You know, you need those to get higher scores, I guess, but Obviously, playing it more and more, you're going to unlock more of the gems to unlock more of the things. But for me, this early on, I'm just using the Dark Mind to get that head start on the score. I'm not that good. This game is very difficult, by the way. It's very, very difficult. Now, that, now that is the main classic mode. Time Attack does that, but you have a counting down timer. You will see in the top there. 58. 57, 56. So now it's just, all right, get as far as you can because that timer is not gonna stop. Everything else is turn-based, but not that timer. So there we go, that's the score on that. Uh, not very good, but my highest is 303. So again, this game's hard. Elsewhere, in the third mode, we have the battle arena. This can be played locally with two players or in a campaign versus a bot. I am literally on match two because the bots 
were beating me down pretty hard. You need five wins to get to the next duel here. So now on each side, you have a bot. You have spaces you, you can't go on. And basically, it's get your score up and don't die, obviously. But get your score up to move that laser, get that laser to crush your opponent and, you know, get the win. Make it a win. So that was a tie. But you can see that also in this mode, you can't do the Pac-Man. So you can go up and down, but not look left and right. So I get more space here now, but there are spaces I, I can't move on, which is a problem. But look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that opponent. Because it does get extraordinarily difficult, uh, by the way. But it's three bucks, so, you know. I'm just going to keep losing in this game. But this more or less is, you know, there's not much more, t there's not much more to it here, but I don't think there needs to be. It is a simple puzzle game that is $3, so, you know, there is that. So I can actually bounce out of this, escape, I can go back to the home, and yeah, controls, leaderboards, uh, not much more to it than that. It is one of those games where they will say, easy to learn and difficult to master. So for me, definitely, it's really hard and I'm not good at it. So I'll keep playing it, but man, it is definitely kicking my butt pretty hard. Pretty hard. Up. Oh my God, that was very close. Very close. That was a stunt. That was a stunt. I managed to do one here on camera. And then immediately die because I'm just that bad at it. But this is Hyromine out now on Steam on the PC. It is $3. I am a tax slug. I will see you next time right here for more videos. Tune in. I'll see you then. And I'm out.